year where he just had staggering statistics. The consistency of his excellence is off the charts. But what's most impressive, it seems, every year his team is competing for a title. Well, he came into this league not worried about individual achievements, but more importantly about winning. All these years later, it's still about championships and making guys around him better. And he simply has continued to do that. Look at the energy and effort. All these years later, all these miles, out running and out working everybody else on the floor. Easy basket opportunities. And then making guys better off of a made basket. Look at the vision, the awareness, alertness. Sees Anthony Davis all by himself, spots him like a great quarterback, delivers the basketball on point, putting his teammates in position to win it all again. And you look at that last clip where Anthony Davis received that pass, and he's a worthy dance partner. Davis's performance in the playoffs have been tremendous. His numbers across the board have been staggering. But what stands out to me is the nearly 10 free throw attempts he shot in the playoffs. It gets other teams in foul trouble. It allows you to set your half-court defense. That ability to draw fouls is crucial against this Miami team. Well, the Miami Heat, they're, not, they're a team that weren't, they were not supposed to be here. Yes, they were a terrific team during the regular season, but they were the fifth seed. They come down to the bubble, and they knock off all three teams, only lose three games in the process. However, now they're facing against the Lakers, and they're big underdogs. And tonight's Domino's HQ is how do they overcome this one? Well, I think it starts with their attitude. They don't see themselves as underdogs. They see themselves as a worthy championship caliber team. Two, when you're going against tremendous duo in James and Davis, you have to beat them with depth. You look at how different guys have led Miami in scoring, and we haven't even shown the other four crucial to their purpose. And then you add in the three-point shooting, and you add in keep your turnovers low and fight them on the board, that's how you and have a chance. And you got home run hitters. It's time NBA to put finals. some respect on the name of Bam Adebayo. The presence on the offensive and defensive end in the conference finals and alone. Led his team in scoring, Los rebounding, Angeles. assists, and steals. Lakers. And when it mattered most, he opened the floor, put the ball in his hands, and the reward, a chance to play for all the marbles, Mike. Well, Mark, both teams 12-3 and three in these playoffs. Both teams so impressive at both ends of the floor. And it's also a series of contrasting styles. Let's get started with PA announcer Olivier Cedra. Tonight's presentation of the National Anthem has been recorded by Los Angeles Philharmonic cellist and member of our Lakers family, Ben Hong. Hong. Miami's improbable run will continue. Punch it, says, Get it out of here. The Lakers are moving on to the NBA Finals. Davis for the win. Oh, it's good. Anthony Davis. Who would have thought that LeBron James would see the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals? This presentation of the NBA Finals will continue after this message 
and a word from our ABC stations. The NBA Finals on ABC is presented by YouTube TV with 85